Hey guys, what's going on? Um, today in this video, I am finally going to give you the Valorant overlay. Um, it should be short and sweet. So you can see right here, I, I posted this video over a year ago, actually. Actually, you can't see, but it's this one right, right below me, right here. And um, I never, I just thought stream elements would allow me to uh, just have people copy it, but apparently, apparently not. Get into into it. First thing you need is to download this GIF. Um, so download the GIF I made. It just is really small and looks like that. Um, unfortunately, so I've had to think about some compromises here i'm in vs code but i know a lot of you just want the overlay so i will give you the overlay and let's let's actually walk through it together just to click on streaming tools overlay new overlay in the blank overlay creator click the plus sign static slash custom custom widget once you have a blank custom widget click on layers custom widget one settings open editor copy the html css js and fields don't worry about the data once you copied all the code move back into the settings of the widget and you should see the fields username tag region good image and bad image type your username tag and select your region. If you like to use custom pictures for when you're doing good or bad, you can paste the online link to the pictures into the respective box. That's true, online link, not a local file. And I would do this, type anything into the good and bad image box and then delete it like this, like space, delete, or ASDF, ASDF, doesn't matter, A, doesn't matter, something, please. Uh, just to make sure it works and this is the size i use so i come into here go into position and size 408 by 49 and the code starts on the next page i am going to update this thank you for watching i'm sorry that was a long video I'll, maybe i'll cut all of that out that's just me working on stuff that I worked on a year ago, and it's a pain in the ass. If you want an updated version, a more updated version, if you want to actually learn how to code a little bit, uh, let me know in the comments, and I'll make a full VS Code local HTML file that you can actually, um, that you can actually use for like not 24 hours. Use for current stream or so. It checks your stream time, it checks the game time, compares them. And if the game was played before you started streaming, it won't count it. But if it's played after you started, after you start streaming, but you have to be live, um, plays after you start streaming, then let me know because I, I would gladly do that. This code is so much prettier. You can just look at it. It's, it looks except for this stuff because I'm still using like G1 and like random ass random letters for because I was stupid. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm sorry that took so long. Uh, literally over a year for me to make this video, but it's finally out there. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye-bye.